new sunscreen day. <laughs> this was in the Sephora Sun Kit. The K or Key Skin Isle Glow Face Lotion SPF 45. This is a sample. Okay, it says it's supposed to give a pearlescent glow. So I'm gonna try and remain objective because you know I, I'm not, oh, it's tinted. Didn't realize it was gonna be such a good tint. I think I hear my husband coming in. Okay. Did not realize it's gonna be tinted. Okay, it looks like it's gonna be a good tint for me. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I think this is gonna be a good tint. <laughs> oh, it is like a whipped texture. It doesn't feel too thick which is good. Is it fragrance free? I think it might be fragrance free. I don't really smell a scent. It just smells like the ingredients. Hmm. It feels nice on the skin. It feels very nice. I'm gonna put this everywhere. Now, it said it was supposed to be glowy, so. But let's see if it sets down. And then I'm also going to put foundation on today. So we'll see how it so it's under foundation. All right, I'm gonna continue uh, putting it on and I'll be back in 10, 15 minutes to check in with you and we'll see if it sets down and how glowy it is. While we're waiting for this to dry down, I feel like this reminds me a lot of the e.l.f. So I'm gonna just test it on my arm here and I just, I'm curious. All right, so we're gonna put a little bit of both. Okay, initial, they are Almost the same color. I would say this one's a little more peachy and this one's a little more yellowy maybe? No, they're both peach. This one's darker and this one's lighter. Okay, let's see though. I'm very curious. I'm gonna spread this one upwards. So it's got like a like a golden glow. Can you see that? And then this one. Very curious. I wish I had tested this on both sides of my face. They look the same, you guys. They feel the same too. Look. They look, they look identical. <laughs> Interesting. This one is, this one actually has more coverage. This one SPF 45 and this one's SPF 30. Both have avobenzone 3%. This one has homocylate in it. Octocylate and octocrylene. This one only has avobenzone, octocylate and octocrylene. Interesting. So anybody talked about these being the dupe for each other? Which one? This one's definitely gotta be more cheaper than this one, right? Cause this one came from Sephora. <laughs> A few more minutes, I'll be back. Okay, it's been 10 minutes. Um, yeah, look, look, look at how glowy this is. So this is not for me. <laughs> I look like a bronze glowy goddess. <laughs> um, but I think people with darker skin tones, if you had a darker skin tone, this would look fantastic. I mean, it would just give you like this gold, cause it does, it has like a golden, peachy golden undertone that is beautiful. <laughs> I mean, it is beautiful, but it's not for me. But I'm gonna try makeup on top of it. It feels like it's set down really nice too. It doesn't feel too greasy. It doesn't feel sticky at all. What are you doing? She's making lots of noise. So I'm gonna put foundation on top and then I will check back in with you in two hours. Say hi, Mama Blossom. Say hi to the people. Hey, this is my two hour check-in. What do you think? Am I getting in the sun here? <laughs> There's not much sun out today. <laughs> the glow does pop through. It performs exactly like the e.l.f. in my opinion. <laughs> um, I don't hate it. It looks like a glow from within. I would definitely take this to the beach with me, but I would have to wear foundation on top. So like if I was going out, and I wanted a nice summery glow from within, I would wear this. Darker skin tones, I think you're gonna love this. Yeah. Okay, um, but I'm gonna continue testing this out. I might get another day out of that sample, maybe three. And if my thoughts change, I'll let you know, because I do wanna try it with a matte foundation on top um, and see what happens. But it didn't break up my makeup at all. Skin feels great. Um, it's time for me to reapply and run some errands. You just finished watching my wear test of the 
Is it K or key skin <laughs> sunscreen? SPF 45. Isle Glow Face Lotion. Now, this is the sample size that I got in the Sephora Sun Kit this year. The full size comes in a pump, which that sounds fantastic. I much prefer a pump over a squeezy tube. And the full size is 1.5 ounces, which is typical. Usually they're between one and 1.7 fluid ounces. Major ingredients. These are, this is all chemical UV filters, avobenzone, octosalate, octocrylene. Other ingredients worth noting, sea moss that strengthens the skin's moisture barrier, niacinamide, which is vitamin B3, that nourishes and visibly tones and smooths skin. Now it is tinted, and it says with a pearlescent shimmer for all skin tones, except mine. Price point is $34, which is typical for a higher end sunscreen. Finish is very glowy and shimmery, but not glittery and not greasy looking, surprisingly. It's not water resistant though. It says it's for all skin types. I don't know how I feel about that. Let me know if you've tried this before. It does work well under makeup and foundation. It acts like a primer. It gives a very nice smoothing effect to the skin. And that's how I enjoyed wearing this, was under my makeup and foundation. It gives you like a beautiful glow from within. But I will not be repurchasing this because as you can see, it was way too dark for my skin tone. It was so dark. But if you are going for that gorgeous, shimmery, bronzed, sun-kissed summer face and you have a darker skin tone, this would be beautiful, just beautiful. I also want to mention that it does sting your eye area. So I don't recommend putting it, it, well, it stung my eye area. I don't recommend putting it around your eye area. Also, when I didn't put it around my eye area, somehow it dripped into my eye area. And when one day I just I had to take out my contact and I had to flush my eye because the stinging was so bad. So I would not wear this like in a pool situation or anywhere where you were going to be sweating. Today is a great day to wear sunscreen. I just won't be repurchasing this one.